Hey guys, this is Envy from OnDrogChance.com and welcome back to my NBA betting mode projections for today, Thursday, January 11th. Uh, yesterday I had four qualified bets, went 2-2, so no big change, still small loss, but positive closing client value numbers. And uh, I will share my projections with you today, completely for free, of course. I don't like to call my, uh, myself as a sports handicapper or I also don't like to uh, call it sharing picks because this is not the purpose of uh, my videos. Uh, I simply want to share my way of betting with spreadsheets and I simply share my daily work with you for free. Uh, and of course, then you can do with this whatever you want. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, I try to motivate people to start betting with simple statistics, with numbers, not just gut feelings because uh, sports betting has changed over the years and it's all about the numbers at this moment so who has the best the better numbers uh, will win it is not anymore about uh, gut feelings or about some news or some predictions or something like that it is all about numbers uh, and of course it is much uh, there, there there are other uh, other important things which every sports better should consider when when it comes to sports betting like selecting the bookmakers money management and everything else okay but uh, in these videos, I share my daily projections from my uh, private spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, as you see, I have one, uh, two qualified bets uh, from the same game, and I will comment uh, the all games. Okay, Brooklyn Nets, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, my projected lines minus six on Cleveland, bookmakers minus 3.5. So I believe there is some value with Cleveland to cover this spread, uh, but it is still too close for me, only 2.5 difference. Uh, Usually I was looking for seven point difference this season. I lowered this criteria because most of the times my lines are aligned with bookmakers lines. But in the past, the best results were uh, uh, were uh, where there were at least seven point difference. Uh, of course, this is much more selective. You cannot find such games every single day, especially if you're late. If you're late in NBA, uh, sometimes I receive email or sometimes I see people watching my videos. They they are waiting this video and then it is only a couple of hours before the game or they sit at home, open the laptop and they, then they start analyzing the games. So when the game will start in the next four, four three, three hours, that's, that's, that's completely late, right? Uh, so you, in NBA, you need to be uh, quick, uh, check, check the uh, injury news, uh, change the players in the betting mall and then, of course, try to act fast. Um, check different bookmakers uh, and because some bookmakers are not that quick, they will not adjust the line correctly or they will be late and you can uh, take the advantage as well. Uh, but if you're late in NBA, uh, it is very hard to beat it. So uh, I usually do this in the morning in Europe, uh, so around 12, uh, something like that. Uh, but if, if I would be in USA, I would try to uh, I would try to do these bets as quick as possible. Uh, then some people would say, "Okay, I have a job. Uh, I cannot do this. I am at work." Well, maybe MBA is too sharp and too heavy, uh, too hard to beat. Uh, that's why I always try to say or motivate people so they can learn sports betting basics, sports betting concepts with spreadsheets, and then you can bet i don't know esports or something like that some other sports maybe soccer uh so where where when in europe they are sleeping you can take the advantage of soccer volleyball basketball so other sports it is not uh right so uh, when i when i sleep many lines uh, are great for some sports uh in europe right uh, so americans when i sleep they they are awake uh so if you have a work uh this is uh after your work we sleep uh, you can you can take some advantage uh, as well so everyone should find his own pet uh this is why i think focusing on betting skills uh, and knowledge rather than sports picks is much more uh, important and will pay off in the long run this is what i think this is what i saw uh, in my 25 years betting experience but of course anyone can do what uh, what he wants okay so the next game boston celtics against milwaukee bucks this is the interesting game uh, uh boston celtics played yesterday against minnesota they beat them in overtime al hoford was playing uh, i believe that he will not play uh, uh today it was overtime game 
they will rest him. Uh, maybe Kristaps Porzingis will play this game. Maybe he will be back. So this will be a good, uh, good change for Boston. Uh, and uh, on the other side, Milwaukee Bucks, Damian Lillard is back. Okay, and my projections, even without Al Hofford and without Kristaps Porzingis, show that Boston should be only plus one, not plus five point five. So even without those play- those two players, I think we have some value with Boston Celtics, even if they played yesterday. Yes. Uh, the second thing, so this is the first game. This is the first bet. Uh, Celtics plus five point five. I think you can even get. At this moment, some good uh, lines, maybe plus 5.5 for a little bit better odds or even plus 6. Uh, I think this is a nice value. Um, then uh, another uh, qualified bet uh, is over 241. Uh, based on my projections, projected, tot- projected total is 250. Bookmakers set the total at 241. So if they will play without Hofford, if they will play maybe without Kristaps uh, Porzingis, they will probably play with smaller players players, and maybe the game will be a little bit quicker. Uh, Damian Lillard is back, uh, so Milwaukee can score a little bit more and uh, this all supports uh, this, uh, uh, this number. Uh, and uh, if we just stick to my, to my projections, uh, it shows that uh, over is uh, a good bet. Uh, then we have Portland against Oklahoma. I didn't find any value. As you see, my numbers and bookmakers' numbers are basically the same. New York Knicks against Dallas Mavericks. Doncic is not playing uh, today. He's out. So because of that, uh, we have Knicks at minus 3.5, bookmakers minus 4.5. But this is very similar. And then we have Suns against Lakers. Uh, we don't know exactly if Lakers will play with uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, but they are always questionable. So uh, I have them in the lineup and the lines are very similar. Okay, So the only game where I found the discrepancy between my numbers and bookmakers' numbers uh, is Celtics plus 5.5 and over uh, 241. So I hope that they cover and uh, that the game will go over and then we move uh, on. So step by step. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.